awaiting a most important welterweight bout for the Continental Championship. And of course, this is Marlon Starling Country. He is born and raised in Hartford, Connecticut, and has many, many fans here cheering him on today. And today in Starling Country, Marlon will take on Kevin Howard, ranked number nine in the world. And of course, we had a chance to find out what his fans here in Hartford think of Marlon Starling's chances. Uh, I think Marlon's going to do a good job this fight. You know, I think he's going to do better than last fight. I hope, he, I hope he knocks him out. Well, I think it's a great chance for Marlon. The last time he danced around, this time, I, well, I think he's going to knock him out. I think he's going to do an excellent job. I think he's a very good fighter. I've seen him fight before, and he's really going to knock him out. I really think he's going to do a good job. Well, I think the Magic Man will um, knock him out six round. Many of Hartford's serious boxing fans assemble at Frank's. A lot of dancing, showboating, and may in the long run win the fight. My own personal opinion, I think the great Marlon is going to make this fight and he's going to be the winner. I think uh, my Starling's going to win myself. Uh, Kevin Howard's a pretty tough fighter, but I think the Mooch will come through. It'll be Moochie in eight. There is no doubt about it. The Magic Show is in town this weekend, and he is going to make his opponent disappear. I think it's going to be a pretty tough fight, and he's probably have to go to go all the way with this one. But I think he's going to come out on top. Well, this may be Marlon's Starling country, but Gil Clancy, uh, Kevin Howard, is more than just an opponent for him here in his hometown. He's one of those real tough Philadelphia fighters. Tim, he's already accomplished quite a bit by surviving those tough Philadelphia gym wars. Anybody that can do that and be rated one of the top ten in the world has to be a solid fighter, and Howard is. He can punch with either hand, good solid guy. His mobility is questionable. He may have trouble hitting the elusive Marlon Starling. Only two losses and 21 professional bouts. Kevin Howard from Philadelphia. Those two losses close decisions to Roger Stafford. Sugar Ray Leonard, let's talk about Marlon Starling. Uh, he is a, a young man who is still trying to erase that one loss on his record to Donald Curry. Since then, he has two victories, including that uh, great knockout victory over Jose Barrett. Where is he now, and what's his head like? Well, Tim, Marlon Starling has become much more of a serious competitor since a uh, big chance by losing to Donald Curry. He had a very impressive showing against Jose Barrett. And I had a chance to speak with him, and I explained the fact that too much showboat could continue to cost him those big fights. He claims that's his fight, that's his style. He can't afford a showboat against Kevin Howard. Well, we talked to both of the fighters, and they realized the significance of the fight. Indeed, we asked Marlon Starling why, at this stage of his career, he would take on a tough guy like Howard. Well, every time I appear, I appear in the ring, I'm risking the chance of getting defeated. But I never think about that because I believe I am the best welterweight in the world today. So I don't worry about Kevin Howard and no other welterweight in the world. I'm expecting to beat Marlon Starling with a nice jab and good body shots and pressure. And Marlon Starling cannot stand the pressure from the spoiler. A very serious Kevin Howard is ready for Marlon Starling. And here he comes into the Hartford Civic Arena. Last night it was Alabama, the country band, on hand here to a very crowded audience. And this afternoon it's Marlon Starling country. Rank number four in the world, Marlon the Magic Man Starling, and this crowd will be behind him today against the tough fighter from Philadelphia, Kevin Howard. We'll be back with round one live from Hartford in just a moment. It's Memorial Coliseum at the Hartford Civic Center in Hartford, Connecticut. Madison Square Garden Boxing Incorporated presents the USBA NABF Welterweight Championship scheduled for 12 rounds, sanctioned by the Connecticut Department of Consumer Protection. The referee is Matt Mullaney. And now in the red corner, with a record of 18 wins, two losses, 
One draw with 10 knockouts. Ranked number nine by the WBC, weighing in at 146 and a quarter pounds. 146 and a quarter in the blue trunks with white trim from Philadelphia, Kevin Howard. In the blue corner, with a record of 27 wins and one loss, Eighteen knockouts. Eighteen knockouts. Ranked number four by the WBC, weighing in at 146 and a half pounds. 146 and a half in the white trunks with black trim from Hartford, Marlin, Magic Man, Sterling. Was some concern that Kevin Howard might have difficulty making the 147 limit. He came in at 146 and a quarter, and it was Marlon Starling who had to lose about a half a pound at weigh-in time. He came in at 146 and a half. And they've had two staring contests here, and Marlon Starling gets the last lick in, shaking his glove at Kevin Howard as we are about set to go. 24-year-old Marlon Starling, five seven and a half. Howard with a slight advantage at 5'9", but you can see the 